Hey guys, this is Matt with 4hydroponics.com and today we're going to be talking about troubleshooting plant deficiencies in both hydroponics and soil. So your first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a plant deficiency and not some other problem. Um, go through and check off everything you can off the list. Make sure your environment is absolutely as tuned in as you possibly can get it. Um, and then I would say check your soil or your water pH. Um, especially in soil, if you're having trouble, really try to figure out a way to test your soil pH either through with a nice probe, like the Blue Lab Soil Digital Probe, or even something that's cheap with a little rapid test that you can do. Um, we have a video on how to uh, check your soil pH and your liquid pH of your hydroponic res and how to correct those problems and what it would show up looking like. Um, so go ahead and check that out. Um, but once you for sure cleared it away that it's not a soil pH issue or a, nutrient or a hydroponic uh, pH issue um, and you have everything else checked off, your environment's looking really good, um, then we're going to have to kind of play a detective to see if we could figure out if it's overfed or underfed. So first when you're trying to diagnose whether it's overfed, um, we'll start with that, uh, which you really need to just kind of you know use logic. If it's the smallest plant in the garden showing the problem, um, then you're probably going to be a little overfed. If the largest plant in the room is really happy and the smaller plant, the smallest plant in the room is showing a lot of problems, um, you might be just doing a little, doing it a little too strong, adding a little nutrients a little too strong. Um, the other things to think about are uh, the plant would be very dark green if it was fed too strong. Um, a lot of times the actual damage would show up on the new growth as well as all over the plant, but specifically you'd see it in new growth. And it would also show up as uniform little tip, uh, yellow tips. Uh, that would be the start of it, as well as the dark green color. And then uh, as it progresses uh, down the serrated leaves, uh, you would start seeing a uniform yellowing on the edges uh, way in. Um, that's uh, an indication of too much. Also, a lot of times tacoing of leaves and things like that, uh, curling up or hooking like at the tips would be a little bit too much food. Um, to combat that, uh, there's a couple things you want to do. In hydroponics, um, you would basically just uh, drop your uh, nutrients down a little bit um, and try to run a little bit lower parts per million uh, for maybe you know another week. And then if you wanted to get back up, then you know creep back up to that number that you were originally trying to get to uh, once your plants have put a little bit more mass on or a little bit more mature. Um, if it's an overfed in soil or soilless, that's a little trickier. Um, with us amended soil, it's really hard to flush that stuff out, so you really just need to give it time to work through it. Um, microbes like sea green, great white, um, the plant soluble uh, from Plant Success, Organism XL, um, these are a bunch of uh, products that are really rich in microbial uh, life and they will get your soil really working and really alive. Uh, break down some of that uh, organic nutrients that's in those amended soils, make them more available to the plant, let them process through it. Um, you can also run some water through to help flush out any of the more soluble nutrients that are in there. Um, and then just basically give it a good environment. Um, you might wanna dim your lights down a little or raise them up a little bit just to kind of slow down their rates um, and then let them kind of just work through it and then, uh, then continue on from there. If you're in soilless uh, and you're using synthetic nutrients or if you're in a lightly amended soil and you're using synthetic nutrients, you probably wanna do some kind of flush um, or just give them plain water for the next couple feedings to see if they come out of it. Once again, this is under the logic category where if it's overfed, theoretically plain water for an extended period of time um, would let that plant come back out of that problem. So if, if anything, you could put one plant on the side and flush it or give it water for a couple waterings while you see what happens. If that plant comes out of it, then it's probably overdone and you can go ahead and do that with the rest of your garden. Um, so when we're talking about um, underfed plants, um, we're going to see issues like the larger leaves are usually going to start showing at first, especially if it's a macronutrients issue, um, nitrogen, phosphorus, or potassium. Um, that usually shows up in bigger, larger leaves and works its way up. Um, if you do have a micronutrient deficiency, it can show up all over the plant, um, but it will usually show up as little spots versus if it's overfed, usually the new growth will be kind of crimply and burnt up. Um, this will just show itself as more of a lime green, light green plant with spotting in it. That spotting is a lot of times um, calcium or magnesium issues. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, another way to think about it logically would just be if the smallest plant in the room is happy and the biggest plant in the room is uh, showing the most problems, um, you're probably underfed. Um, I keep in mind if you've been doing only water and you did transplant two, three weeks ago and then they were doing great up until now and all of a sudden we start going a little light green into yellowing, um, you're definitely uh, underfed looking for some food. Um, keep that in mind. Uh, I would also say 
uh, for over, uh, sorry, underfed plants. Um, temperature, obviously lighting, all that stuff plays a big role. Um, if you've got really high CO2 levels and a ton of light in there, they will go through their food faster, which is a good thing, but you would see that deficiency earlier. So always take into effect your environmental conditions um, and how they're impacting your plants' um, metabolic rate, basically, how fast they're eating and, and, uh, and how quickly they're growing. Um, other than that, you know, test your part per million of your nutrients going in. You can test the part per million of your nutrients coming out. If it makes a big jump, you can say, okay, I got a lot of nutrients in my medium. I need to flush that out. That's probably overfed. If you don't see much of a change going in and out, it's probably not overfed. Um, other than that, uh, I would say just keep in mind uh, environmental conditions, uh, CO2, and keep your plants really happy um, by just keeping your environment on point and everything else will kind of fall into place. Um, colder, cooler, you know, underlit rooms are notorious for having plants be overfed. And if they've been staying wet a long time, they're also probably overfed. If they dry out every day or every two days, then we're back to underfed. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, there's a lot more information on our website about this kind of stuff. Um, come check it out. We have a lot more products than just this up here. Um, and I hope this video helped you out. We'll check you out next time.